Hey friends, say say hello, Mr. Star. <laughs> Mr. Star, that's that's the star always. He takes he takes away. He's sitting by the the lawnmower. When when you start that baby up, he attacks it. But the lawnmower is out here because um, Mr. C, actually, if you notice, all the weeds are gone. Well, they're not gone. They've been cut. Yeah, they've been because they just they just choked all out this garden this poor garden uh, so he worked for i don't know how many days i tried to lawn mow it um for him too i tried to help him but even i had a hard time and then finally finally um he took the weed whacker and got all the weeds out of here uh, but um there's my garden over there a, a, a jungle right now a jungle uh, but you know where, where they where they took the weeds away, and this is a labor. This is a, where 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 he was out here for hours. He he took the um, he dug up all the weeds, as you can see, all the weeds are gone. And he did put wood chips around the his tomatoes. And look at how well his tomatoes are doing. So there you go. There's a little bit of back to Eden gardening going on there. Uh, but um, look at my, my stuff is getting there. This this actually. Um, was turning. I, I, I left for, um, uh, I just got back. I was camping, you know, having fun. But when I left, this was turning a little bit yellow. And I think it needed to be fed. So my zucchini plant here isn't doing so well. Uh, but um, look at my spearmint. And look at this. This beautiful basil's coming in. And this was actually a tomato plant that I had to dig up because um, we have gophers. And he, he got underneath the tomato plant and started eating the roots. So I had to put them in a pot, and it's doing well. I just harvested. Uh, this is my third harvest of my salary. Third harvest. And I'm using, actually, the dehydrator um, from... This isn't dry yet, but I'm using the dehydrator from the homestead if you recognize this look at this this was a dehydrator that um, my ex actually made me and it has been serving me well so i'm harvesting my another batch of dried celery which is awesome and i'll show you how we're doing in the greenhouse too so i had to dig up almost all my pepper plants because this garden was not doing so well with the peppers they just didn't they didn't like the, the pepper plants and mr and mr c kind of warned me about that but look at look at my my little pepper plants uh you know they got started a little bit late but they are coming they're coming around and i know you know this is not anything like i am used to at all at all you know i'm used to my pepper plants being like tree trunks and just being huge but you know what anything that the lord gives me is a complete blessing and just to see you know just to see peppers on my plants i'm excited about that so we'll go well let's see let's let's go to the apartment and we'll kind of give everybody a little bit of an update so um, Mr. and Mrs. C actually are babysitting some turkeys. Look at these turkeys. Um, they had them in with the chickens, and boy, they cause a ruckus. Look at look at all these. <laughs> aren't they aren't they cute? Hmm. And um, my all my green stock planters are doing really really good. I had them stacked up, and then I unstacked them because they're just go they're going they're going wild is what's going they're go they're going wild. But all my herbs look at that. I can't keep up with my herbs, and I got a little tomato plant there. But um, look at that. Just rogue, rogue plants everywhere. Actually, look at that tomato plant. It is just, it's doing great. So I love my green stock planters. I have them stack up, and then they're self-watering. But sometimes I unstack them just because, you know, I kind of, I kind of do my own thing with the planters. Here's my little dehydrator. I just filled that up again, again. So I've got lots. I have lots of. Um, Lots of prod projects going on, and um, lawn laundry day. Oh, there's there's always laundry. Oops, and actually, look at that that fell. And you know, look at look at the yard. The whole yard has holes. That's the gopher. Yeah, that's the gopher. So, um, oh, I went to the post office today, and I got some. 
packages. And you know what? I have to, you know, I got to like thank some of these people like right now because I, I try to keep up with thank you notes. It never works. So I got a package not too long ago from um, Richard, my friend in Fayetteville. And I just want you to, I just want you to know, Richard, that um, Mario got his treats. Right, Mario? Because everybody loves Mario. And Richard was so nice. He, he wrote to me, uh, he wrote to me. It's like all his little his little notes. Um, you know, everybody's so empowering, and and he's he's just telling me that that you know don't believe the lies of Satan. You are victorious through Christ. Thank you, thank you all for your words of encouragement. And and well, come on, come on in. So I don't know if I showed this to you. Come on, Mario. It's nice and cool in here. I keep everything closed, uh, but um. Oh, where, where is it? Where is it? Well, um, some of the things come from all over, all over the world. And this now is Mario's favorite little blanket. Uh, there was a person from Australia who didn't just send me things for Mario, but uh, they sent me a beautiful, uh, it's like a duster from, from the outback. A beautiful duster. Um, and then today, oh, I don't even know what I got in the mail. This one is... Um, for Ogden, Utah, and where's where's the other where's the other packages? Um, oh, there were a couple more. Now I don't know where where did I put them? Oh, this is terrible. See, I, I get I get the the little ADD thing going on. Where did I put my packages? Hmm. Mm, but anyway, um, zucchini from my friends, and this next week uh, when I'm off, I'm going to be making zucchini relish, and I'm going to be getting um, some peaches, um, purchasing some freestone peaches. The unfortunate thing about the whole, you know, oh, here's more zucchini. The whole loss of the pantry, it, uh, not the whole loss, because I did get to take um, some of the things that I really, really wanted, and... Uh, you know, and, and that was important for me because there was stuff that I really wanted. So, you know, of course, I have my own little pantry over here, and I've got some of those pantry items. But, um, you know, I'm still I'm starting from scratch. I mean, as you see, it's it's not it's not even. I mean, so you know, here's here's the the pantry, and I know it's it's not not anywhere close to what I had on, on the homestead, but, you know, again, because um, a lot of people ask me about the pantry. They think it's, like, not fair that I left so much and we didn't divvy it up. And, you know, in reflection, we could, we could all reflect. I should have, yeah, cut it down the middle and, and, and taken, taken half. But, really, I just I took what I needed and I wanted, and... That's how it was. But the one regret I do have, not that I have a regret, regret, but I went to go uh, price jars, you know, canning jars. Oh, 14 15 16 dollars a case, depending on what you get. That's going to hurt because not only do I have to buy produce now, because I don't have, you know, the abundant garden that is producing. You know, I have to buy my peaches, and I'm going to be gleaning some pears, hopefully off of some trees, and gleaning some apples, so I'll get all that free. But canning jars? Oh, man. So rebuilding my pantry is going to be substantial. But this is where, but this is where we have to say, like, at least for me, with my walk of faith, God will provide. God will provide. In fact, this morning I was sharing with um, my girlfriend, um, Victoria, and we were sharing how, um, uh, like, she had a house and it needed to be sold and how they moved. And then I was telling her my testimony about the house that we had back in Wisconsin and how it sold. It was very pretty. This is all God moving in her. He did, when he decides to move us powerfully, he's going to move us powerfully. And we have to trust in that. So even though right now I don't have the resources to go out and buy cases and cases of candy jars, um, I know I know he will provide somehow. Somehow he will get candy jars for me. And you know, a lot of people say, oh, that's okay, that's just crazy. You know, sorry, just just work extra at the hospital. Or, you know, well, I can't work extra at the hospital because it is what it is. The hospital only has so many hours available. So it's not that simple. So, so in life, sometimes it's not that simple. It's not just about trying to make more money. It's about 
getting to that place where you depend on the Lord to provide for you. And it's amazing how he provides. You know, he, he, that's why we have the body of Christ. That's how, why we have fellowship. That's why we're called to be generous and to help each other. You know, right there, we have resources. Right there. And God brings us those resources. And, I, and I'm living proof of that. So anyway, that's the whole pantry thing. And um, it's, been a, it's been a pretty good week. I just got back from camping, and I'm just cleaning up and getting organized. I'm glad you guys are liking the, a lot of the homesteading videos, because uh, I'm always working on something. In fact, I'm, I'm dehydrating my herbs. That's kind of my project right now. Here I have my old-fashioned colander, and I'm at least getting so many different herbs. I'm getting my spearmints. I'm getting my basils. I'm getting my salary. Um, so my herbs are being... And I'm stacking, stock, stocking, stacking, stocking, stocking, no, stocking. Boy, that's a hard word. It's kind of like celery. My girlfriend says, Starry has her own language. Don't criticize. <laughs> I kind of do, you know, it, you know, and I don't know if I've ever shared this with you, but when I was a young girl, I did have a speech impediment. Uh, I had a hard time pronouncing R's, and there's things that wouldn't roll off my tongue. And when all the kids were going outside to play for recess, I had to stay inside and do speech therapy. And I know, no, wait, now some, some troll will come along and say, well, I guess that speech therapy really didn't help now, did it? <laughs> it's okay. All right. Um, but I just wanted to get this uploaded and just kind of share share my day. Um, I Oh, and I wanted to let you know, I went live on Patreon. It, it went so well, and, and God bless you, friends, for joining me on Patreon. It was so awesome. And then I did an impromptu on... Um, on uh, a Facebook, and I, I did the Facebook just simply because... Uh, the Lord was really working powerfully in my life over the whole dog issue, and I really wanted people to get to get what the Lord was doing. And I also wanted to redirect people to, and remind them the power of the tongue, the power of the tongue. There are a lot of people who were so reactive um, when you know I started talking about having to leave the dog, and, and, um, and a lot of people just assumed that um, Mr. Hilder was being mean. There's a lot to what's going on in my life. And I always try to be respectful of my ex. I always try. And I've read all the comments, and, and I'd say 95% of them were very, very supportive. But some of them, yeah, were a little reactive and a little harsh. We always have to remember there's another person. There's another person. And um, we we need to be gracious with our tongue. We need to be loving with our tongue, and we need to do that with everything. We, we you know, taming the tongue. You know, the Lord talks about that. So it was kind of unfortunate, but you know what? People did come back and say, you know what, Starry, thank you, thank you for the follow up video, thank you for working in my life, thank you for testifying, thank you for um, your fellowship, thank you for sharpening my iron. See, this is the thing, and that is why. I do what I do. Why continue the YouTube channel? It is only to glorify God. And when I share my testimony, my real testimony, you know, I'm not, I keep it real. I keep, I keep it real because there's so much not reality out there. There's so much out there that you don't know truth from fiction anymore. And it, it, as followers, we need that iron sharpening. We need to hear real, raw testimony. We need to, to hear when people fail, when people fall, when people make mistakes, right? We need to hear when God is working in our lives and, and remolding us and remaking us. You know, you've seen videos where I have come on and I have apologized and said I was wrong. You know, and, and I have come on and, and also made videos where I'm just crying because the Lord is just working. And I'm not going to stop that. And, but, but Satan wants that stopped. And then, you know, that's why there's people out there that will say, you know, I'm unsubscribing because it's too personal. That's okay. But there's a there's hundred more comments that says, you touched me. You spoke to me today. God is working in my life now because through you as a vessel, you, you, you shared your testimony and it's exactly what I needed to hear. 
I'm, how can I stop that? I'm not going to. God. You all think I inspire you? Well, no. You know, I've got people telling me um, Bible verses and um, sharpening my iron. So here I have, you know, comment after comment, comment after comment, and all of them are just so uplifting. So never forget, we are here for each other. We are here for each other. And um, this is a blessing from God. I hope you all see what's going on here. I hope you get it. Because all of you who are here, you're all here for a purpose. All right, I got to get going. So this is just a quick starry vlog. Sorry. Sorry I was drowning on again. <laughs> I am a talker. People on Facebook, when I did the live impromptu, they're like, boy, you can really talk. <laughs> yeah. Mario gets an earful. God bless, friends.